back in Artifact Adventure. So, one thing we have to do is give back the key. We got that in the previous video on the way to Cuomo, I believe. You really saved me a lot of trouble. Here, take this. We got the Soldier's Ring. So we got a small amount of EXP, but the Soldier's Ring is an accessory. And you can see that it cranks up Frank's defense. And we are going to do another side quest now, so we need to go foreign. I believe it was down here. We're going to do the lake side quest now. So we gotta loot through here. So if we look, nothing here during the day. We step outside, we will pop the sun and moon spell, turn it to night, and now stuff is going on. The water is rippling. This is the Phantom World. If you do not find the answer, your life will surely be forfeit. sits to my left is honest. I created this world. He who sits to my left can do nothing but tell lies. The one who created this world sits right in front of me. So, he who sits to my left is honest. The one who created this world sits across from him. I created this world. He who sits to my left can do nothing but tell lies. doesn't exactly make sense, okay. So are they supposed to all be liars or something? My soul saw hell. When the despair known as truth is wrapped in a lie, that is what gives people hope. Can lies exist within the honest heart of a child? That truth is what hurts people. Truth is despair. Does an aged body still contain a soul? A pure heart speaks the truth. A soul does not exist. That is but an eye searching for truth. The one standing behind me is a monster. The one standing behind me is not a monster. Are you ready? The one who saw the truth was you. Despair. The kid, I guess? Most of this part, I don't know if it's something lost in translation or what, but it doesn't make sense. First question, where did the liar stand? Okay, so... This one... The one who did not see hell stood. And that's the whole side quest. It makes very little sense to me, but whatever. So before I open this, I can put this on Indie. It's going to confuse, I think. The Warp Mirror. I reflect not truth, untruth reflect I. Do you wish to see the untrue? You see, what is untrue is but one form of truth. Truth. 
and in taking that you destroyed the world. So all I can say is good riddance. And I'm going to cut over to Wangun, that way I don't have to worry about the fights, so see you in a second. Okay, I said I was going to Wangun or wherever the place is, but I made a detour to Greenvale and we are going back to one of the spots that I used to grind earlier in the game. So there are going to be quite a few battles here, sadly, but they're all weak stuff, so I can cut through them fairly quickly and easily. And our objective here is to find some glowstones. So right here, I guess... I don't know what the story is there. So, secret door, and we now have more to explore, and there may be stronger enemies. 700 EXP from that fight, pretty good. Now we are looking for that. So here is one of the changes that came in from the previous version of the game. The artifacts that are actually like items for you to collect are going to be orange colored instead of blue. So we hear a voice, I'm Death's Path. I can release those bound to walk their final journey to Death's Embrace. Do we want to walk the path of the dead? Sure. But do not rush to your grave. I just noticed I was walking around with Hero as my front character. Getting close to leveling up yet again. So, a nice little chunk of money. This time we're going over here. Okay, those are glowstones, and now we need to finish exploring the place. And by explore, I mean loot. And I just got 3,000 EXP from that one fight. Okay, I think that's actually it. There just isn't that to be found down here. And that was another 3,000 EXP fight. Let's get out of here. So, Death's Path will take us back to the entrance. Okay, I warped back to the fortress because we need to go to Wangun now, or whatever the place is called. So we need to go around here. Poison enemies are to be found here, so be prepared for them. Yeah, it's a short trek. And the person we're looking for is... this guy? over the glowstone. So right here we are going to give him exactly what he wants, because be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Your mother raised you well, she did. Alright, now wait there and be quiet. Let me concentrate. Success! Here, take this. We got a drill. So that opens another side quest for us, and various trouble. But we are going to set ourselves up for another side quest. We need to go from day to night. And I believe we can actually buy a spell from him. Look who it is. Since we last fought, I've been thinking. You're full of potential. So I have a deal for you. Give me 200,000 G and I'll pass on my official title. How's that sound? I could give it to you for free, but that wouldn't test how devoted you are, would it? can't say I'm not disappointed. So I'm not entirely sure what the advantage of that is, but... You can see here the scoundrel is in the bed. So we can go ahead and sneak in, grab the pendant, and now we need to go back to the thief's hideout. So we have to sneak back in the way we did before. Since I don't have the seal of the bandit, since I chose to do that quest a different way, we have to go in through the back. No front door access for us. We have 
the teleporter. Now, I don't remember which way it was. I believe it was the left. Yeah, that Frost Spirit spell is still coming in handy. Definitely glad I didn't turn that into a sword. And I should be on the verge of leveling up again. Also is a quest where you can do something with a slave trader. I'm not doing that one though. No. So the guy we have the pendant for this guy. That's it, you brought it. Alright, time to put my plan in action. Dude, thanks. Listen, come meet me in Aluda. It's just over the bridge to the west. I'll give you a reward. And actually, can I talk to him a second time? Same thing. I don't know if that's the kid you can buy for the slave trader thing or not. out of the fortress, and now we get to walk back to Wild Gun. And this is where I'm going to be putting the break in the video, since we have those side quests out of the way. So I'm going to be going to the end, dropping a save, and that's it for now. So next time we can go to Aluda, move forward with the story, find more side quests, whatever. But that's for then. Until then, I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.